Hello and welcome to this news live from Islamabad. I'm Jawad Tehami and these are the headlines. China says it does not recognize the so-called Union Territory of Ladakh illegally established by India last year. In a news briefing, Foreign Ministry spokesperson Wang Wenbin rejected India's move to strip occupied Kashmir of its autonomy. He said China opposes infrastructure buildup in disputed areas for military purposes. The two sides have been engaged in a military standoff in Ladakh since May. Pakistan has summoned the Indian charged affairs to protest the latest ceasefire violation by Indian troops along the line of control. The summoning comes hours after a soldier and a civilian were martyred and four people wounded in the Indian fighting. The Indian side was told to respect the 2003 ceasefire agreement and allow the UN military observers to visit their side or the line of control. Pakistan's Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi has once again warned against the spoilers of the Afghan peace process. Addressing a conference in Islamabad, Qureshi said negotiations are the only solution to the Afghan conflict. In his address, the chairman of the Afghan Council for Reconciliation, Abdullah Abdullah, thanked Pakistan for its efforts for peace. Armenia and Azerbaijan have accused each other of cross-border shelling far from the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict zone. Dozens have been reported killed and hundreds wounded as the fighting over the border dispute rages for a third day. The global number of COVID-19 deaths has topped 1 million, while 33.2 million people have been infected. The deaths in the US, India and Brazil make up nearly half the total fatalities. In Pakistan, eight more people have died from the virus overnight, taking the toll to 6,474, with over 311,000 cases. That's all for now. For the latest updates, you can follow us on social media at Indus.news.